Welcome back everyone. You might be in a weird situation where you just restarted your Windows 10 PC or it randomly restarted on itself and you're on this strange screen where it says automatic repair and it'll give you some weird little things on the screen too. Now there's a couple of ways to fix it. You know, I wouldn't freak out about it too much. If at the end, you know, it's still not working or whatever, you can always reset your PC and then restore from a backup. Now, one of the ways you can fix this, which is normally the best way to get started with it, there's a ton of different ways to fix it, but I'll go and hit on two different ways that you can do it now. First of all, once you're on this panel, you want to go ahead and click advanced options. And then once you click that, you'll see a little panel, you know, you'll see a couple of them. You want to find the one that says troubleshoot. And then once you click on troubleshoot, you want to click on advanced options again. And then once you click on advanced options, you'll find a several different options that you can go through. Now, the one you want to click up in the beginning with the first one you want to try it out is to click on startup repair. Now, once you click that, it'll go ahead and take you to your standard, you know, PC boot icon or boot screen. And it'll go ahead and tell you, you know, okay, these thing, okay, Windows is attempting to repair your PC. This might take a little while. Now, one of the main advantages of going about it this way is that most probably this will fix the issue that you're trying to find. Now, it will take a little bit of time. If it does end up taking like three, four, five hours, I would recommend just restarting your PC and just trying out the second way that I'd recommend in this video. But if that ends up working, it'll go ahead and, you know, give you an OK icon and say, OK, it worked or whatever. And then it'll go ahead and boot standard into your Windows 10 interface. If that doesn't work, like I stated, it should bounce you back into your automatic repair screen or it'll say, you know, startup repair failed or something like that. And then you can go ahead and try the second option. So this one is the one that I would probably recommend a lot more people to go through in case the first one doesn't work. Again, you can always go through some other ways using the command prompt. But in this case, what you want to do, starting off again with that beginning automatic repair screen, you want to click on advanced options. You want to click on the troubleshooting icon. And once you're in that troubleshooting icon screen, you want to click on advanced options again. Now at this point, you want to click on system restore. Now this should be the first option that's on that advanced option screen. Now once you click that, your PC will kind of show this black screen again, and it'll go ahead and boot into the system restore panel. Now what's going to happen here is pretty much it's your Windows PC is going to try to find the earliest working copy that you had as a backup. And sometimes your Windows PC may even have a backup in the background in case you didn't even, you know, fully do it yourself. So you want to go ahead and click next. And then once you do that, Windows will go ahead and show you several different, you know, copies that you had in the background before. And as you can see, it'll show you the date and time, the description, the type. And what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and click on that specific backup that you want. And you want to click on next. And what's going to happen here is that it's going to restore basically to that specific point. So if it was like, you know, three years ago, then it might be a little bit different. But sometimes some people have automatic backups restored. So you can try to find the most recent version, click on that one and then click finish. And what's going to happen is your PC is pretty much going to, you know, reverse back into that time when it was a working copy. So that's why it's always recommended to have backups, you know, and all that stuff in case you need to go through this route. And at that point, your system will be restored back to that working copy and you'll be back into your PC. So these are just two ways to fix it. Again, these aren't the only ways. I'll go ahead and, you know, make another video with some additional ways, but these two are probably the most common ways that I'd recommend doing it. If you guys have any questions or run to any other problems or find any other solutions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.